Well taken by Redpath. It's Henderson offloading to Taylor. Redpath, Patterson. Metcalf from fullback. And Takiri grabbed it. Pinched it. He was the thief in the night that time. Outstanding football from Lottie Takiri in defence. Well, he just kept his eye on the ball. And then Matt Rogers has done the rest. Well, that's a better kick from Matt Rogers. And good work from Lotte Takiri. Eye on the ball. He did very well to stay in too. Getting away from a couple of Scottish players. And Gregor Townsend slipping off. And now Australia back into Scottish territory and they have to defend. That's White. And Maida looking for support. Taken ahead by Grimes. I want you away and then allow 10 to come in. I want you away. So Bill Young is the culprit. Off his feet and rolling all over the tackle player. Gee, it was a tough decision there. Bill Young, natural progression, just falling to the ground. And Stephen Larkham doing instinctively what was supposed to do. Line out are the worry. Scots taking their time, making their call on the run. Well, the Scots, the last two line outs, they went short. Now they're having a seven man line out. The Wallabies have stopped jumping against them in challenge. It's your ball, you can close the line. I want a bigger gap. All the way down. So he wants that down. meter gap, and you can't close the gap unless you're jumping for the ball. Particularly applying to the defensive team. And Mather at the back. George Smith is there. Red path to Patterson. Just hesitated, but was able to step out of trouble. War trying to pinch it for Australia. Oh, and Phil War, well done. Here's an overlap again. Mortlock. Daniele across from the right wing to affect that tackle. Flatley saves it for Australia. Cannon with a run here. And going straight into Douglas. Now Lyons. Losing ahead. Again, the handling error is costing the Wallabies. They've built progressively. Concentrating war, tremendous right over the ball and just like a backhoe, just scooping no. it back. That's the trade off the Wallabies have got. They've got two short scavengers at the back in jersey six or seven. Not going well in the line outs, but around the field they should dominate. Taylor given a bit of room there by the back row and George Gregan. Australia couldn't pick it up. No knock on. And Smith, ever alert, was able to just tow that ball back to it to a teammate. And Rogers now. No real pressure there. And it's another big game for the Wallabies taking it into opposition territory. Good kick, Matt Rogers. He knows that he needs to put it in front of his forward pack. And once again, the Scottish have a line out. 60 metres out from their own line. The Scots have been absorbing the pressure from the Wallabies early on. And the body language from both sides. The Scots are talking it up. They're hitting each other on the backside saying, great tackle, great pass. The Wallabies are quiet. Bullock now trying to shear this one towards the right. Mather leading the way here. Tom Smith has it. They've made about seven or eight metres. Red path now. That one's gained about 10 metres only. Logan's waiting. He flicked it back. So did Redpath, and this is Hines. Townsend, under pressure. He was ringed. Bad mistake by Grimes, who wasn't expecting it. And just a, a lack of composure there by the Scots. Almost a ball they didn't two, want. Two blue Scooped blue. it back inside, and then they found they didn't have support centre field. Not, not very comfortable. So it's still Australia by six to three. Gordon Bullock in the hands of the trainer, Bob Russell, the, the Brisbane lad. 
ready to come on here. So it's all penalty goals so far. It's been a pretty even contest. And uh, the Scots, though, really standing their ground and, and turning on a, a very spirited performance, lifting certainly above anything we've seen from them in the, in the tournament so far. And you've got to think that down in the uh, Wallaby coaching box, there may be consideration to swinging Matt Coburn on earlier than anticipated because the line-outs and the fact that the Australians have only got two jumpers is really costing them at this stage. Well, the Wallaby back line all lined out to the left-hand side of this centre field scrum. No one right-hand side. Here's Larkham. Mordlock. Got through the first tackle. Good clean out by Lyons. Wendell Saylor wants it. And he lost it. He lost it in a heavy contact. And now Townsend into open space. Brilliant. What about the advantage for Scotland? Boy, oh boy, there was no one out here with Ken Logan chasing down that ball, but he's, he's pulled up Wendell Saylor here. Two of them, one with a hand in the face, nothing in it. OK, OK, all right. Yeah. Regardless of whether he's playing games and stuff like that, you can't take it into your own hands and throw a punch, OK? Penalty against you, you understand? No more. Very lucky boy there, Wendell, that he didn't get a yellow card. Well, he was frustrated, hitting a lovely tackle by the Scottish forwards. And he was frustrated that he turned the ball over. It was second phase play in Australia, yet again, have and, a turnover. And Greg Martin, what about the advantage for Scotland there? Well, uh, yeah, he didn't wait long enough, and while he had his back turned, he was worried about that offence, went on with that. But Kenny Logan made a big point, the left winger, when it got kicked to him, he was on his own, standing guard over the ball some 50 metres away. Well won again by White that time. Patterson working to Henderson, the crash ball in fence. There's White, almost to the 22. And some good clean-out from the Scottish forwards tonight. They just lack the support at the breakdown, and that's where Australia's been killing them. Another turnover. Flatley's come in to first receiver. Numbers if they move it. Loose pass from Flatley. I thought you might have had an overlap coming. Lost scrum. The referee's reading the game Lost. perfectly. And there was an overlap coming. Elton Flatley decided to go on his own. He had three or four players, Mortlock and Saylor out wide. Elton Flatley chose to take the direct action. Isn't that just the difference? Sometimes that ball needs to be moved quickly. Came free. Referee played great advantage here. So we're not stopping here for Jason White, who's uh, made a huge impact since coming back into this starting lineup. They stalled nicely there, the Scottish pack, waiting for their blindside flanker to get there. Referee relented and let them do it. David Lyons, given leeway. Great yardage. Gregan and Rogers. What an angle! Yeah, there's runners blocking away. The there was obstruction. Referee was Johnny on the spot. Matt Rogers was away. Fullback to beat. Try time. He had a massive players in front of him there, Matt Rogers. He used them to his advantage. Oh, this will show up perfectly. One goal. See Bill Young there holding off, uh, holding off a Scottish defender. You Would can't stop and push backwards, push. even though you're not seeing the play. Would have been OK in American football, but a chance for Scotland to draw level. So the Bonnie Scots are standing tall here at Suncorp. And just a, a bit of concern in the Wallaby coaches' room. Patterson is 38 metres out. It's well within his range. He's been slotting these attempts consistently during the tournament. 
and this will make it an all-even ball game. They're happy. 6-6 six, six at some point. Two penalty goals apiece. Well, the Scots prepared in a, an ice house in Poland, a glass house in Edinburgh. Some were su suggesting they've been in the outhouse in this tournament, but they've certainly stepped out of it tonight. Yeah, it doesn't care. It doesn't matter now what happened in the pool matches. This is one off, knockout rugby, and the Scots, that's a fair reflection of the uh, way the game's going, six all. Australia have the line breaks. Scotland have the line outs. He's Heinz. And he's certainly been a revelation for Scotland, the big number four, since coming into their starting team in the last two years. Wallabies trying to snaffle this one. They're trying to clean out Bill Young. And there's a loose pass. Henderson, was that a knock-on? No. He dropped it all right, but then caught it before it hit the ground, says the referee. Fortuitous. Great scrambling. First time put under pressure. Well, the Wallaby think tank now get together. Terrible pass there. Redpath putting it through, and then, gee, there was a little knock-on there by Henderson. I think he scooped it and caught it again, Timmy. Which is OK. So good decision there by the eagle eye of Steve Walsh. He certainly kept the sides apart in the line-out. Australia struggling in that area, but they've come up trumps here. And this is their chance to stalk out that goal line. Phil War and Gregan on the loop for Larkham. Sailors out here too. Mortlock tackle without the ball. He's penalty. He's got that ball from a touch, Judge, because Steve Walsh didn't spot that. He went the knock forward ruling first. One of the touch judges have a look, and he's right. And I wonder if Steve Larkham saw the hole that he was in as he turned it back into Mortlock. So now, in this topsy-turvy first half, Australia with a chance to again get their noses in front. This one being placed right out in front of the goalpost, just beyond the 22. Easy meet, you'd say, for a man of this class. Wallaby skipper George Gregan appealing there for a yellow card for a deliberate foul on Mortlock. Wallaby backs were running all sorts of angles and decoys there in the Scottish defence at sixes and sevens. But now Elton Flatley can put his side back in the lead. So 100% record for Elton Flatley, the Wallaby goal kicker, and the minute goal had it by three. Now for the Wallabies, it's so important after you score points to control the play for the next couple of minutes, and the Scottish coaching staff, they'd be pretty happy with the way that their team's performed in the first half so far, but there's still a couple of minutes left for both sides. David Lyons has been hungry for work tonight. Rogers calls for it. Plenty of chases to put pressure on him. And uh, watching this match down at the Shell Harbour Workers Club is Les McEwen and his famous Bay City Rollers. One of the most famous bands to come out of Scotland, having sold 300 million records. They'd be pleased in between songs watching the Scottish performance tonight. There'd be a lot of Bay City Rollers fans pleased about what they're seeing at the moment. 9-6 to the Wallabies, but plenty of ball coming Scotland's way. Henderson takes on Lyons, who crunched him. That's Hughes. Bruce Douglas, I should say. And Tom Smith standing in the tackle. Again, another loose pass, but Townsend. Linking up with Taylor. Wallaby defence is good. 
Drop goal attempt. It's a big oh. one. It's a good one. What about that? Patterson levels the 